everybody. Today we're discussing the Kedar Tal trek, and I have Arjun Majumdar, the founder of India Hikes, with me. Hi, Arjun. Um, Arjun, I've often heard you comparing Kedar Tal to Goichala. Now that is saying a lot. So, what makes you compare these two treks? Swati, uh, I speak about Goichala mainly because of the big mountain views, mm-hmm. and Kedar Tal also gives you the big mountain views. Now, you have to understand that Uttarakhand in our country has all the major big mountains of our country and in Kedartal you get to see lots of them right in the middle so they're all around you and you're in a cauldron of big mountains and they're rising from the lake that Kedartal lake that we have it's around 15 and a half thousand feet all the big mountains are rising right from there and they're in 360 almost uh, view around you so I mean uh, come on you don't get that on most treks Okay, I've actually seen pictures of the lake and the reflection and our tents are right there. So you actually camp in the middle of these mountains? You do, you're camping right up besides the lake and you have this Manda Parvat, Bhrigupanti, Thale Sagar, the Jogin summits. Behind you have Bhagirathi, Massive, the Gangotri, Meru. What more do you want? I mean seriously, all these are all famous mountains of our country. And they're very, very beautiful by the way. Each of them are very beautiful to look at. Considering you're climbing to such a big altitude, I've heard that there are tricky sections and slightly uh, difficult. So how difficult is it actually? It's a moderate difficult trek, uh, Swati. Mm -hmm. And we really want fit trekkers uh, on this trek. You've got to be nimble because there are a lot of scree sections to go through. There are a few boulder hoppings to do. Plus you're climbing from around 10,000 feet to 15 and a half thousand feet, maybe even up to 16 if you go for further explorations. All that over three, four days. Uh, you need to be really fit to do this trek. I mean, uh, we wouldn't want anyone who's unfit to do this trek. Okay, and what is the best time of the year to do the trek? Uh, I would say just as the snow melts uh, from middle of May, around May, I would say May would be very good. Uh, up to early June, uh, mid-June, I think it's a great time to do this trek. Post-monsoons, beautiful. The summits will clear up, the views will be great. So post-monsoons until the end of October, mm-hmm. early November. A great time to do that trek. After that, it will become it's going to become extremely cold. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the even the water sources may dry up, so it's not a very good time. Then. Okay. Would you also say it's an alternative to Gamuk Tapoman? Uh, very much because it's right there. See, uh, you start the trek from Gangotri, Gamuk Tapoman two starts from Gangotri. So yeah, it's a very good. In fact, at I would even sometimes make it as a better alternative to Gangotri Tapovan just for the big mountain views uh, and that chance of camping beside the lake. I mean, these are very rare opportunities. So, Gomuk has always been one of the most popular trails in India. What about Kedar Tal, it's considering it's in the same region? It's not as popular and frankly, I'm very happy about that because I'm not talking about Gomuk Tapovan, but most of the trekking trails in our country have become very crowded. And here you have a trek where not many people are uh, treading on it. I would go for it uh, a lot because, because, you know, it gives me the solitude that I'm looking at. Ah, okay, I think that's like a big advantage on the Kedar Tal trek. So, thanks a lot Arjun for sharing this with us. Um, that was Arjun talking to us about Kedar Tal. He says it's a very good alternative to Goichala because of the big mountain views and it's also an alternative to Gomuk in the same region. So, if you're looking for a less crowded trail, especially that climbs to around 15,000 feet May and autumn, this is a text to do. Thank you for joining us today.